Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is a contest entry for my buddy, and I know he's yours too, Edward, over at Prague Hat. Uh, I've known about Edward for probably going up on a year now. Um, he's down in Texas. Uh, his channel refers to Prague, but Edward likes a lot of music. He likes country, he likes jazz, he likes pop. Um, and obviously also prog rock as well, but Edward's a really nice guy. We, we follow each other on social media. He's always jumping in on my, on my live streams when I'm playing guitar. And, uh, I had to jump on this contest for, for my friend. So Edward is trying to get to 400 subs. He's already passed that at the time of my filming. So congrats, Edward. Let's, uh, bump you up a little bit more here, my friend. And he's got some simple prompts that he wants us to follow. And I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, the focus of this contest is the 1960s. And the first question that Edward has is, well, the first prompt, he says, to show three albums, three of your favorite albums from the 1960s. Now, I didn't want to do Beach Boys. Um, you know, I didn't want to do Beatles, that sort of thing for these albums. So I wanted to show three albums that aren't always shown as much. First one is some jazz. This is Getz Gilberto. Um, really, really great jazz, um, bossa nova kind of album really focuses in on the music of Brazil. It's got the big hit Girl from Ipanema, which um, has, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Astrid Gilberto, um, uh, Jao Gilberto's wife. It's got the Girl from Ipanema on here. Um, Desafinado, Off Key, um, Quiet Nights of Quiet Stars was also a moderate hit. Really, really great album. I highly recommend this. And um, yeah, I wanted to show some jazz in the 60s. Next, uh, another favorite album of mine, Five Leaves Left is the debut from Nick Drake, um, English singer-songwriter. Very mournful lyrics, um, very quiet kind of singing, breathy kind of sound, but it's really great. It's got some great tunings on the guitar if you're a big fan of guitar tunings. Um, acoustic based again um, songs on here like river man time has told me day is done cello song man in a shed really really love this song it always um, this album it always um, takes me to autumn and the, the season of fall so five leaves left is another album edward and then lastly for some favorite albums i'm going to pick nashville skyline by bob dylan this is his country album that came out in 1969. This was when Dylan was using his country crooner uh, voice, very soft voice, um, kind of guttural, I would say is the best term for it. But he had quit smoking, I think, for the for the duration of the recording of this album. Um, first song is a re-recording of Girl from the North Country, which originally appeared on the Free Wheel and Bob Dylan album, his second album. But this version is a duet with Johnny Cash. Really, really great. Uh, I prefer it to the original. Um, another fairly, you know, pretty big hit was Lay Lady Lay. Uh, One More Night was covered by Tony Rice later on. Country Pie was just on the recent Nitty Gritty Dirt Band tribute to Bob Dylan. Um, To Be Alone With You was also a moderate hit. So really, really great album. I love this. One of my favorite Dylan albums and his shortest at clocking in under half an hour. Um, next, Edward wanted us to show, um, one of our favorite, uh, excuse me, uh, three of our favorite songs from nineteen from the 1960s. Uh, I am going to go a little bit more mainstream on the first song. I'm going to go with my favorite song of all time, God Only Knows from Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys, 1966, sung by Carl Wilson beautifully. Uh, everybody knows this album. Rolling Stone has twice voted it the second greatest album of all time. Uh, to me, it's my favorite album of all time, um, just under Abbey Road by the Beatles. And I just, I can't say enough nice things about this album. It was a grower on me when I first heard it, but I love it. It holds a special place in my heart. Um, next, I'm going to go uh, a song from the album Astral Weeks, which I know my buddy Glenn Kellaway showed. That would be the song uh, Madam George from this album. Really, really great, uh, you know, long kind of stream of consciousness song. This whole album is kind of freeform jazz meets pop meets folk a perfect album in my opinion um and madam george is you know it's great a lot, a lot of people kind of have controversy on the subject matter of it i know there was some issue when it first came out was it about somebody that was a cross dresser not etc but it's a great 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 song madam george from astral weeks and then lastly for favorite songs i'm going to show from pisces aquarius capricorn and jones limited by the monkeys i'm going to talk about the song what am i doing hanging around which was written by Michael Martin Murphy, who of course had a big hit with Wildfire in the 70s. Uh, this was sung by uh, 
Mike Nesmith and just a fantastic song. I was so fortunate to see Mike uh, play the song in October of 2021. It, it, it's just a, a strong memory to me and I'm so glad that I got to hear it. Great country rock song. What am I doing hanging around from the monkeys? Um, and then the last of the, of the actual prompt, show three albums from 19, um, excuse me, sorry, um, show a favorite artist of the 1960s. I'm going to talk about the zombies, which will kind of lead into the final bonus prompt. This album came out in 1968, Odyssey and Oracle. Um, one of my top 10 favorite albums of all time. If you saw my series, great songs on here, Care of Cell 44, Maybe After He's Gone, um, Changes, I Want Her, She Wants Me, This Will Be Our Year. And then of course the big hit, um, Time of the Season. Just a great um, album recorded in Abbey Road Studios at the same time as Sgt. Pepper, also at the same time as Piper at the Gates of Dawn by Pink Floyd, all recorded in the same um, time span. So a lot of the instruments were recycled from band to band. Um, this album was released really after the zombies had already broken up because they weren't finding any commercial success and they didn't have really a steady stream of income. But I love the zombies, one of the great British invasion groups, Colin Blunstone with the smoky voices, vocals, Rod Argent on the keys. Fantastic. Love the zombies. And then Edward has a bonus round for us um, to show three albums from 1968, the year he was born. I'm going to start with the debut by Led Zeppelin, my favorite Led Zeppelin album. Um, again, what can you say about this album that hasn't already been said? Good times, bad times, babe, I'm going to leave you. You shook me, dazed and confused. Your time is going to come, communication break. It's, it's just endless, endless, endless greatness on this album by Led Zeppelin. What a monster of a debut by one of the greatest bands of all time. So I'm going to go with the debut by Zeppelin. Um, next, I'm going to go again with one of my all-time favorite albums, Sweetheart of the Rodeo by The Birds. This was their country rock album. At this point, only two original members with Chris Hillman and Roger McGuinn, um, but still fantastic. They had taken on Graham Parsons as well, this, the one and only album that he was a part of. And um, The Birds made their debut at the Ryman Auditorium during this um, point. People were complaining because it was a rock band doing country music at the country music uh, mother church. And um, you have the big hit on here, You Ain't Going Nowhere, the Bob Dylan song. They do a bunch of covers, I Am a Pilgrim, The Christian Wife, excuse me, The Christian Life, um, Pretty Boy Floyd, um, the, the Graham Parsons masterpiece, Hickory Wind. Just a fantastic song, uh, fantastic album all the way around. Love it. Sweetheart of the Rodeo from 1968. And lastly, one of the greatest live albums of all time, Live at Folsom Prison by Johnny Cash. Again, a fantastic performance. Johnny Cash was there. Um, Carl Perkins, the Statler Brothers, June Carter Cash were all part of the band at this point. Uh, Folsom Prison Blues is on here. Dark as the Dungeon, I Still Miss Someone. Cocaine Blues, my favorite version of Cocaine Blues. Um, the Wall, Send a Picture of Mother. Um, Flush from the Bathroom of Your Heart, I Got Stripes. Um, Give My Love to Rose, Jackson. And then Greystone Chapel as well on here, as well as a bunch of others. Just a fantastic live performance of Johnny Cash live at Folsom Prison. So there you go, Edward. Uh, I'm going to link his video below, the original contest video. Please subscribe to Edward. Let's get him up um, to the 500 mark to start off his year right. Edward, thank you so much for hosting the contest. I hope you enjoy this. In the meantime, y'all be good. Take care. Talk to y'all real soon. Bye now.